Musisi Wimkwebane has pledged not to touch a 500,000 US dollar grant by the American government's US aid. We asked that country's ambassador to South Africa, Patrick Gaspard, what he thought of this rejection from the cash-strapped Public Protector's Office. I'm sure you're aware that a lot has been made of the 500,000 US dollars mm -hmm that the Public Protector's Office here in South Africa received from USAID, which is obviously an entity of the US government. We'd like you to give us context. Sure. Is it a loan? Is it a grant? What is it? Why was it made available? Sure. And how was it made available? Well, you know, to give you proper context, we have to go a little further in the history. I think it's important for your viewers to know that we have had a deep and enduring partnership with our friends and our partners here in South Africa going back to 1994. Uh, there was a uh, conversation between President Nelson Mandela and President Bill Clinton, where President Mandela uh, affirmed that uh, the only way you can have a strong state is if you have strong institutions, particularly strong institutions around, that are centered around justice. Uh, in that conversation, uh, President Mandela made it clear that he would be casting a wide net to all of his allies to seek resources to help stand up the infrastructure uh, for the new government. Since then, since 1994, we have made over $70 million, uh, U.S. dollars, uh, in investments in the justice system, uh, in the legal framework, in helping to stand up your remarkable and visionary constitution. We've also uh, contributed over $3 billion uh, in direct aid on education and development uh, and uh, all uh, that is needed in order to advance the democracy here in South Africa. In, and additionally, uh, through our USAID and PEPFAR, in the last decade, we've made an investment of $5 billion to help eradicate it. Asking me about... Is a drop uh, in the ocean, it's first a of all? It's a drop in the ocean. and should be understood in the context of the historic relationship between the U.S. and South Africa, the partnership between President Mandela and President uh, Clinton that has then been reaffirmed by each of our subsequent presidents and each of your subsequent presidents. Now, on the question of the $500,000, uh, that is uh, a grant, an award that was made to your Department of Justice uh, that's helped to support the work of the Public Protector's Office. Uh, and I should hasten to add uh, that I had a conversation uh, with uh, your uh, Ministry of Justice uh, in advance of that award. It was all incredibly uh, transparent uh, and in keeping with uh, what stakeholders here in South Africa uh, have asked for uh, to support uh, the programs of the Public Protector's Office and your Justice uh, Ministry writ large. When did you realize that this grant was a problem? or could potentially become a problem? Well, yeah, I, I want to be clear that um, we certainly don't see it as a problem, and there isn't any information that uh, we've received that would suggest that. But of course, I'm an avid follower of the news here in South Africa, and I saw some of the um, interesting comments that were being made so uh, in the legislative session officially in Parliament. with you? Uh, not as of yet, no. Do you have an idea of how long the public protector had been receiving? this grant? Uh, I believe that uh, the program uh, started in 2010, okay. uh, in, in, again, in partnership with the Justice Ministry. Okay. And when you heard the new public uh, protector say that she is choosing not to use the funds because she feels that um, they would cast doubt on her mm. Independence. You know, how, no, how did you I, receive we, uh, we, that? We respect uh, the, the sovereign interest of all of our strategic partners and certainly the sovereign interest of uh, South Africa. I want to be very, very, very clear that the resources that have been provided uh, to the Justice Ministry and the presidency and all ministries across the country uh, are uh, directed strategically by South Africans themselves. I've been in this wonderful country for, for three years now, uh, and from time to time, uh, every now and then, uh, some, uh, often some uh, irresponsible uh, actor might say a thing or two uh, that would suggest uh, some uh, untoward uh, intent or lift up some conspiracy. But uh, overall, uh, our bilateral relationship with uh, the people of South Africa, 
with the South African government is a very, very, very strong one. Uh, and there isn't that much uh, cynicism uh, about uh, the work that we do uh, together to empower South Africans, to lift up that constitution, uh, and to uh, make certain that these protections are available for future generations. So this is just, a, as far as we're concerned, uh, a sidelight, uh, but doesn't really speak to the defining characteristics of what is a very strong uh, and mutual benefit, beneficial relationship. Do you... Um foresee questions being raised about monies that you spent elsewhere. For example, mm. um, there is funding that is provided by USAID to help with election management. Let's be clear that any resources that are allocated through our development uh, agency to South Africa or any other nations uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa are uh, allocated at the invitation of South Africans themselves. Is there any way, I have to ask you this a question, the last question on the public protector issue, um, that you could have influenced in any way her writing of reports, et cetera? Um, no exclamation point. Uh, no, absolutely not. And uh, I hope that your viewers can appreciate uh, just how long it takes the bureaucratic uh, wheels to spin, not only in South Africa, but in the United States as well. So the $500,000 that we're having a conversation about was uh, decided upon and uh, allocated far in advance of uh, the current investigation that uh, is generating uh, so many buzzworthy headlines. Why do you think this issue is coming up now? Uh, you know, look, this is uh, a, ch a challenging time uh, in South Africa. There are, um, uh, coming off of the mid-year, the midterm elections, there are tensions that exist between the governing party and the opposition party. There are tensions that, are, that exist intra-party. Uh, I think that all South Africans are rightly proud of Tuli Madensela. And I find it to be uh, absolutely uh, outrageous uh, that someone who uh, not that long ago was complimented by the ANC Secretary uh, General, Gwede Mantash, as an outstanding servant leader, uh, should be impugned uh, in this moment when she instead should be celebrated for her accomplishments, for her partnership, and all that she's done to make certain that uh, South African democracy uh, is protected for uh, generations to come. That's all from us this week. Please do give us your feedback. Our Twitter handle is at Check.